What is good, C-Squad? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, we're watching all of the Bridge Kids. And if you want to watch these yourself, they are on YouTube on a channel called Mike Carf. The YouTube channel link will be in the description below. Make sure to go subscribe to this amazingly talented YouTuber. And if you enjoy longer reaction videos like these, make sure to like and subscribe. Let's go. What about you, though? You're not even wearing a costume. I'm like a punk rock guy, you know? I got a yeah, but skull on my shirt. Yeah, you already are a punk rocker. How is this a costume? This is so relatable. Me and my family grew up really poor. And back in the day, my mom worked at a Walmart. So because we couldn't afford a costume, one Halloween, I decided to dress as a dead Walmart employee. It was really weird. Let me know in the comments, what was your favorite costume that you wore during Halloween? Billy, your brother keeps uh, keeps staring at me. Yeah, he Give does me that. the creeps. Hey, uh, could you like look the other way or like... Uh... I love Lars's little brother. Look, don't call me Dr. Disrespect. I need a plushie of that kid. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. Oh, look at you. Are you Spider-Man? I'm sorry, what? That kid looks nothing like Spider-Man. Yes, I get it. That's the joke. You know what? Because of the whole Spider-Verse thing, maybe there's a pumpkin Spider-Man. Bye, guys. Be safe. There's a lot of weirdos out there tonight. Oh, what the hell? Why didn't we get anything? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe she, uh... I do like the detail of the artist showing that these kids are poor without actually telling us. One, Lars isn't actually wearing a costume, but two, he's using a very generic retail store plastic bag and Fugger is using a regular paper bag, which again, back in the day when we had no money, that's what I would use. Aren't you guys a little too old to be trick-or-treating? Actually, that's just a myth. Yeah, mm -hmm. the human body doesn't stop growing and metabolizing until like age 25. Yeah. So we're actually still in the perfect demographic to keep trick-or-treating. First, First off, Fugger, you're a fucking nerd. And secondly, I do kind of agree with him in the sense that you shouldn't have to be a certain age to go trick-or-treating. I know it looks weird, but you should be able to go trick-or-treating regardless. Excuse my phrasing, but I feel like a lot of adults lose that child inside them. You get what I mean? Look at this. He, he, gonna... he got king size. I didn't get any king size. Yeah, He's well... probably gonna... He's getting a head start on childhood obesity. I don't know about that. You but... should be sharing with me. Fugger, look at you. All right, look, I can't really say anything on the count of I'm fat myself. I will say once I got a job, I stopped trick-or-treating and just bought my own candy because it's a hell of a lot easier just to buy your own candy than to beg for it. You need to really learn to control your little brother because he's, uh, because, uh, uh, hmm. Hmm. Yeah. What the hell is that? Is that even a human? He's wearing a thing that you would wear when you go to the doctor. Look, I don't mean to judge a book by its cover, but he looks like a killer who may or may not have escaped from a psych ward. What's good? Oh, hello, boys. Hey, yo, what's up, pretty mama? What are you, some kind of pussy cat or something? Damn, you're looking fine with that. I mean, yeah, how'd you know? <laughs> Shit, I'll clean your litter box. Damn. Damn meow, meow. What? I'm sorry, what was that pickup line? In a few minutes, I'm gonna put the baby to bed and then I'll have the whole house to myself. You guys can come hang out if you want. I'm gonna be all alone. Shit. Wait a minute, are you telling me that pickup line with the cat litter actually fucking worked? I need to reevaluate my life. Maybe I just need to talk about cat shit 24-7. Love Yo. some Netflix and chill, you know? Yeah, and this kid's a heavy yeah, sleeper, yeah, you know? That's right, uh, that's right. We could make all kinds of racket. This kid ain't oh, even going to hear, yo. <laughs> yeah, let's get these wheels spinning, yo. you know? What an awful babysitter. Is she insinuating that they're going to have a threesome in a house that isn't hers while she's babysitting a child? Can I join? She's gonna be home alone, bro. Macaulay Culkin style. I know, man. All alone, nobody home. All by herself, man. Yo, we could fucking kill so that vulnerable. bitch if we wanted to. I mean, I, you know, that's fucked up. I, you know, I really shouldn't say some yeah, shit we like wouldn't that. Do that. I think my suspicions about this person being a escapee from a psych ward was probably correct. Actually, you know what? Who actually knows? Maybe he looks like a killer, but is actually a very sweet guy. So I think clearly like, just wearing your brother's costume would be better than this. Well, no, like if I hold it like really close, like you can't even tell. Looking at Lars's arms and now noticing his whole posture, it reminds me a lot of XQC. Is that mean to say? Trick or treat.
Ooh. You know what guys? I think I was right. Editing CAJ here. I didn't even realize there was blood on the window before he answered the door. I won't, I won't sit there. God, God damn it. So you said you have like a condition or something? Oh shit, he's coming. Oh no, Mr. Pumped Up kicks his back. Oh hey, what's uh, I got something here. Oh, what's that? Do you know anybody named uh, Isaiah? Uh, no, I've never heard of that name. Looks like it's for a birthday party. What the hell does it say? We can make them pay and inflict Justin upon those Cretans. And that's why I'd like to invite you to my birthday. Isaiah. If any of you are named Isaiah watching this, I am sorry. What the hell? Where's my invitation? Oh, hey, I see you got the party invite. I guess I'll catch you there. By the way, somebody in the last video said this kid's nose looks just like Voldemort's. Now I can't unsee it. Thanks, guys. It's okay, you know, I, I didn't even want to go anyway. Well, no, you and I are both going to this party. Uh... Yeah, our invite was probably just like a, a lump invite, like we're each other's plus one. He's probably just trying to save paper. Yeah, that's that makes sense. I genuinely hate people like this. I hate it when people include themselves even when they're not strictly invited to things. It just grinds in my gears. I hate it. Oh god, he's not showing up, is he? It's getting late. Why would he even show up? Ooh, look at this room. That litter box has not been changed in a very long time. You know what, it's fine. I don't have time for friends anyway. There's too much that needs to be done. Does that outlet have double switches? I've never seen an outlet with two switches on it. Is that normal? It looks like you brought a friend. That's, um... This is, this is Isaiah's house, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, this is it. The, why don't you come on in? Uh, make yourselves at home. Jesus, the silence in the background is so loud. I know that doesn't make any sense, but trust me, it does. Oh, uh, you, you can leave your shoes at the door. Uh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just gonna say I would not take my shoes off in this house. I just love the absolute silence after that. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, for you. Oh, wow. Thanks so much. That's, that's awesome. Thanks. Here, uh, you can, yeah, take this. Wow. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I blew it up myself, so, uh... Nice work. You're welcome. At least the pumped up kicks kid, aka Isaiah, actually seems like he's grateful for these gifts, because I'm assuming he's never had an actual birthday party before. I don't know, it's kind of sweet. Do you have anything to, like, um, do? Yeah, is there... There's, uh, lots of cool stuff in my room, if you guys want to come check it out. Okay. Uh, I guess, yeah. yeah. Oh lord, we're gonna see his room. Alright guys, so, uh, yeah, this is it. This is my bedroom. It's where the, uh... Magic happens, as they say, so, you know, sorry, it's like, it's it's a little cramped in here. Full disclosure, I wasn't expecting this many people to show up. What the fuck? Excuse my French, but what? I'm not gonna lie, out of everything in this room, the fact that he has a blueprint of his high school, that is bad. That is terrible. However, I will say, he does have a Doom poster, which is a plus. Yeah, this is, uh... a lot of garbage. Are those, uh, are those animal bones? Oh, do you like them? I actually love collecting these things. I will admit, it is kind of weird to have animal bones in your room. But hey, if scientists do it, then I don't see the problem. Maybe our friend Isaiah here is an aspiring scientist. Hey, do you have any, um, snacks? Uh, what? Snacks? Well, um, well you know, it's like a, a party, so I thought there'd be like, you know... You know, uh, snacks or something. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, snacks, snacks. How could I have forgotten? Um, God, the fucking silence is so loud here. It's so unnerving. Only one way to find out, though, right? Yeah, I guess we could like take a look, you know. Yeah, I think we should. Um, I think I think we should leave. I think it's time to go. <laughs> Oh my god, I can only imagine what's under that bed sheet. I don't know, I just love their reaction. It was funny, I like it. I'm gonna assume there's probably a dead body under there. Oh god, you idiot. You forget snacks. There isn't even anything in here. What kind of selfish idiot drags people over to his house and he doesn't even have snacks? Side note, where are his parents? I mean, I guess they could be at work. Or what's under his bed could be his parent or parents. Uh, and, and he does as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that, yeah. That's what I mean when I say that we double booked is because mm -hmm. we both have 
uh, an appointment. Yeah, we did it together. I mean, was it the was it the snacks? I, I I know it's such a mess in here. I mean, was it the snacks, dude? Oh my god, was it the fucking snacks? Yeah, yeah, that was it. Definitely not the dead body under your bed. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for coming. You know, I really cherish your friendship and. Yeah. No. No. Um. No problem. Mm hmm Yeah, we, we had fun. Yeah. This was honestly one of the best days of my life. Him saying that was sad as shit. The thing is, I actually believe the guy. Like, I feel bad for Isaiah. This character, Isaiah, is perfect because you slightly feel bad for the guy until you realize he's a murderous psychopath. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to laugh at this kid's misery. Look, I'm not trying to be resentful to this murderous psychopath, but oh my god, it's just it's just so funny, dude. It's so funny. But I'm a Wait, their names are Fugger and Lars? She she actually lives upstate. But, uh, you know, sometimes she'll she'll drive in and visit and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll sneak her in my house at night. Wow. Yeah, we, we got to be real quiet uh, so my, so I don't wake my parents up while we're uh, while we're making out. Jesus, with that fucking mouth. I don't even know how you would make out. Oh, my God. I just imagine him trying to actually, you know what? I'm not going to say it. We, we got together for like one last uh, goodbye hookup. Uh, uh, we got to third base together. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, my gosh. You look so hot in that jacket. You could use a stroke. What? what? Me and Fugger just said the same thing. I hate that his name is Fugger. Chemicals in it. Oh. I saw it has like a yellow number five. Oh, what's, what's that do? Yeah, it's supposed to like uh, lower your sperm count. Uh, oh, you're counting your sperm? <laughs> Just the way he said that. I don't know. It just sounded so condescending. That delivery was just so funny. Also, people like this who are so picky on what they drink. Unless it's water, everything you drink nowadays is pretty bad for you. If you're looking for people to, uh, to prowl on, you know, she's pretty, uh... Oh, her? Well, I guess she's conventionally attractive, but... She's breathtaking. I, I consider myself like a sapiosexual. What the fuck does that mean? Sapiosexual. Of, relating to, or characterized by sexual or romantic attraction to highly intelligent people. That's a thing? You know what? Between you and me, that's not really the best flavor. Let me get you something special. Hey, Joey, can you take care of him? Oh, wait, but... Hey, what's up, man? Uh, wait, you wanted a, a different flavor? Holy f... Fuck. It looks like his pants are about to fall off. His pants are being held up by his ginormous cock. Yeah, uh, black cherry is, a, is supposed to be like a, an aphrodisiac in most cultures. Uh, plus her like her body language was like completely indicating that that she was totally into me. <sighs> that's that's pretty serious. Did yeah, her you, pelvis uh... was facing me. <laughs> okay, that, <laughs> that was pretty good. You might be like her, her boyfriend, you know, they're pretty close. Standing well, pretty close together. Well, no, that can't be possible because that would be, uh, they work together. I thought he was going to say something completely different. Hey, hey, again. Oh, hey, back again? Hey, yeah. Uh, wow, you must really like these. Yeah, y you guys do a, a good job, um, uh, you know. Um, what are you saying? I feel so bad for Flugger and I want to make fun of him, but, but come on, let's be honest, guys. We've all been there. Also, I'm pretty sure he's like a freshman, so I don't even know. Bro, I am fucking pumped, dude. I can't wait to fucking pump some iron, dog. Yeah, me too, man. I think it's gonna be like an upper body day, you know? <laughs> Get it? This show is amazing. I mean, you like uh, you like music and stuff. Like, I mean, I I'm a I'm a big G Unit head. I've been listening to some D Block lately. You know. Why does he keep looking at his crotch? Hey, can you like chug this real quick? Oh, all right. Holy shit! This guy has slammed down four of these things in a matter of five minutes. Ener energized. I just kind of feel like. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, like a pain in my chest. Hey, can you give me those? You know, my heart's beating really fast. I don't... All right, yeah, yeah, thanks. Oh, no, our boy's about to crash and die. Hell yeah, man. We're trying to pump some iron. I mean, you know, count me in. Yo, Yo. for real, dog? That's what's up. Let's That's go. what's up, bro. I'm fucking hype. Let's go. Joey, where are you going? We're in the middle of our shift. His name is Joey? That's the last name I would have guessed. Yeah, so anyways, uh, she, it does seem like she doesn't want to be another notch on my belt, uh, which I understand, but like... 
Really, she doesn't know what she's missing out hey, on. Hey, uh, can I get your name and number here? Nice visual show. Amazing. I love it. Also, Fugger is so full of himself. Oh, uh, okay. Bye. Take a look. Her name was Stroke at. I hate this place. This prison. None of them know what it's like. They don't even know my name. They're all just bogged. Bogged in the mire. By the way, I just want to remind people that from the one minute clip that I saw on TikTok, this does get pretty dark. So take that as like a disclaimer. Hey. Yo, 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 you know what it is. Aha, uh -huh, yo. I'm the Tyler Durden of math class, but you don't know that because you get no ass. I love the character design. We haven't even seen my favorite character design just yet, but just look at these two guys. The animation somewhat reminds me of an uglier Rugrats. I don't know, it looks unsettling, but at the same time, it looks normal. Those Neanderthals rapping their music to flocks of sheep. None of them understand how fucked up this world is. This character is so full of himself. I feel like everyone that's watching this knows a person somewhat like him who just thinks the world is centered around them And also I love his design as well because it perfectly matches his whole persona He's animated with a little body, but a big head although he thinks he's all high and mighty in reality He's a really small person with a massive head. I love it so much. I got it all it, it, it saves a lot of space It's a whole lot more flexible. Um, it's not really a backpack though, you know Can't Well, really... it doesn't have to be it <gasps> Oh my god, dude, this character design is freaky as shit. I look at this character and instantly I'm terrified. I just hate how big his mouth is. It looks like you could fit a watermelon in there. I'll make them pay. I'll make them know exactly what it's like. I'll show them just how twisted I can be. I think my favorite part about this character is his voice. He has one of those voices that you would find super annoying, but crazy at the same time. I get to, I get to have everything I need. Like I don't want to see like what a, he says like to a, his mommy. Um, this kid is black. Dude, like the comedy is so nonchalant. I'll admit nothing funny is going on. Like these two guys are just having a conversation while this dude is just rapping a diss track about him for no reason. But like there's just something about this type of comedy that's really hard to pull off. It's one thing being deliberately funny, but it's another thing when you don't try at all. Your head look like a fucking sandcastle, bro. And just like a sandcastle, bitch, whoosh, oh, I'm gonna fucking kick it over. Why is this guy just roasting the shit out of him? What did he do to you? I will say that sandcastle roast was pretty good. Also, look at this frame. The octopi. Yeah, you're gonna be sleeping with the fishes, you know. Did, did you just threaten me? Are you threatening me with violence? I'll fucking violence? hit you over the head with- <laughs> Dude, oh my god, the way he just said, are you threatening me right now? Oh my god, I love his voice. <laughs> this I'm gonna, point I, I can go get you, uh, uh, Life is so simple for these midwits. <laughs> if only they were- cursed with the knowledge of this rotten world like I am. Oh my god, dude, his character is so annoying. Not only do I find it annoying when characters in a show are like this, I find it absolutely baffling that people in our real world are like this. He thinks he's so special and over everybody. Move it, bitch. Ah! Yo, handicap parking coming through. Wait a minute, editor, replay that. Ah! That sounded just like Morty. Oh! Can you believe this? There's no one even here. There's no one in the office. This is this is an emergency, and there's not one. Well, there's no one here. Know, to, school to... got out like an hour ago, so school's been out an hour, and you're still there. I know people like to hang out at school playgrounds, but just leave. The only thing that I miss about school is being able to see my friends every day. For those of you who are older, you understand. I'll write them a note uh, detailing how uh, their absence has uh, uh, left the school vulnerable for these hoodlums to walk around and and, and torment everyone. Hoodlums. That is not what I'd call those guys. Uh, do you have a, a pen and paper I could borrow? No. Oh, uh... I actually have lots of paper. H here. Oh, I like that a lot. I loved that small detail where our main watermelon mouth guy, when he asked for a paper, Mr. Delusional over here, he slightly started to smile. And the reason why I bring that up, because that's a sign of the producer, the story writer, and the animators actually caring about what they're doing. It just gives the show a little bit of extra detail, which I really appreciate. Well, no. Bet. At that point, you're just completely underprepared. Had it right here. Like, what if you, like, come across a $100 bill on the ground? Then you're gonna... No, you're no, not gonna 
have anywhere to put it. Happening. Well, you know. I just love everything about this scene. You have Mr. Delusional down here just freaking out because he can't find a piece of paper. And you have these two just having a normal conversation. It just sets the whole tone of the show. And it's a tone that I haven't seen before in a show. And I love it. My manifesto, it's missing. We could probably just come back, you know, later. <laughs> I just, I just love how they just don't give a shit. And understandably so. They have no reason to actually care about this kid at all. And even as he's losing his shit, they just don't care. Not one point in this show have they tried to tell a joke. Yet I've been laughing and loving this the entire time. The real me is fighting the biological me. This ugly corpse world is riddled with disease. And the cure for it all is my AR-15 with the 3D printed bump stock and extended magazine. Huh? Reminder, this notebook was written by that delusional kid. The pumped up kicks kid. He just admitted to having an AR-15. Oh, uh, YouTube, please don't demonetize this video. It's pretty cool. Now they're threatening people with, with, with machine guns and saying there's going to be blood. It's kind of raw. I like that. It's got like a hard edge, you know? All right. In all fairness, without context, the, the lyrics are pretty good. But knowing the context, it's pretty messed up. Hello, uh, 911. I'd like to report two guys are, are going around uh, threatening to start a, a shooting. They didn't really. Yeah, they say it's going to be a bloodbath. Uh, frankly, very disturbing. It was kind of like a cool music thing, you know? It wasn't... Yeah, two lower class Caucasian males. <laughs> two lower class Caucasian males. I'm not gonna lie, our Patrick Star main character here is a little delusional himself. I wouldn't say to the level of Mr. Pumped Up Kicks, but he's a little full of himself. Yeah, I have evidence right here. Uh, they wrote down saying that they are going to meet on Friday the 30th uh, under the bridge to begin their killing spree. <laughs> what? It doesn't say that at all. All. Good God. All right, I'm not gonna lie. This Patrick Star character is a little annoying. This kid is just taking this out of proportion. Those Philistines. Oh, they'll pay for this. Are you hearing the lyrics in the background? I'm pretty sure he said I'm gonna bust his skull and let it bleed down the hallway. Dude, this is fucked. I mean, the comedy is right up my alley, but God damn. The time you read this, it'll be too late. Tomorrow, my day of reckoning. Of course this kid has a Joker poster. Delayed and delayed for too long. I've let the thugs take advantage of my cowardice. But I'm not gonna be a pussy anymore. That was pretty cool. The animation on the paper and the writing was like constantly moving. Kind of expressing the intensity of the scene. That was pretty cool, I like that. Treacherous vanity will decompose. Fungus will sprout from their putrid remains. <laughs> ashes to ashes. Shit to shit. Oh, damn. He would be an amazing songwriter. I will blow my school up with a giant bomb. It will go kick, kick, kick. <laughs> whoa, 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 what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> They're shutting us down for speaking the truth. Stop resisting. <laughs> whoa, 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 what the fuck is happening? Dude. Dude, this is even worse than I thought. Oh my god. Editor, you have to blur that shit out. Even Mr. Pumped Up Kicks is terrified. There, justice served. That's what happens when you go around threatening other people with violence. What? Dog, you just ended up killing multiple innocent children. These are kids, by the way. Like, maybe freshmen? That ending took an incredible turn. 